Chess friends, how are you? Hope you are good and today I will show you the absolute brilliant chess game of Magnus and Ding Liren, and this is your today's puzzle, 90 IQ chess puzzle, solve it and comment me, so let's go, Magnus started with e4 we have e5 and we have standard opening Rui Lopez, a6 bishop backs knight f6, Magnus could play castle, sacrificing a pawn, but he always loved to play positionally, d3 is one of the best opening choice for him, in long run he wants to push his center pawns. Ok b5 bishop b3 bishop c5, c3 his idea is clear to move the pawn on d4, here is a gambit called stockfish gambit, if you play h3, try to block the bishop's entry point, then d4 after takes e5, the knight will be paralyzed, if knight e4 then play castle to involve the rook and sacrificing the another pawn, after pawn takes queen d5 will be a killer move, targeting the knight and threatening checkmate at the same time, so, in this position Ding played d6. In Rui Lopez you can move your knight like a rattlesnake, to get active in the good squares but we have bishop g5 by Magnus, further plan is to play like this, so we have h6, bishop h4, I hate this move, many players play this move to pressure the knight and queen, why you simply don't take the knight and relief black, therefore black should not do mercy on white, push the g-pawn and push your kingside army, the sniper bishop is on there, black king is safe on there, that's why Ding played g5. He have no mercy for the light bishop, push the a-pawn or play bishop e6, knight a5 is also available, after bishop g3 bishop b6, black's idea is clear to play knight here to target the bishop, so knight d1 knight g5 bishop c2 knight h5 to target the light bishop, you shouldn't play short castle because after h takes g3, the h-pawn will be a avalanche for white, bishop and queen's diagonal will create problems on king's side. Dark bishop will pin the f-pawn to the king and position will be bad so white plays a4, in Anderson variation, knight d2 usually goes to c4 square after pawn exchanges, but the knight have better options to consider knight f1 to go e3 or g3, knight c4 is useless because the knight have no work on there and he will be kicked out, and Magnus can consider b4 move to kick the knight, rook b8, b4 knight takes bishop h takes knight knight c6 knight f1 queen f6. If you play a very natural mover takes b5 then after takes, bishop b3 position will be dead lost for you because after g4, targeting the knight, no matter where the knight will go you will lose the king which will turned into checkmate, yes you are right, queen takes f2 will be checkmate, so, back to the position, we have queen f2 knight e7 knight e3 h5 bishop b3 c6 and we have pawn exchanges on b5, d4 a critical move for both players, if pawn takes happen then just simply complete the center exchanges. You will have ed pawn and a natural position, so g4 by ding to target the knight, pawn takes e5 magnus, queen is under attack so. d takes e5 knight h4 queen g5, and they both side did castle in the game, because white's king size is not attackable for black and ding have to save the king, we have king h2, in this position ding could take the bishop and after takes takes pawn takes, white will have double pawns on e and g file, it would be bad for white little bit, where the rook will come to the a3 square to target the bishop, ding plays rook a3 but it's too early move. Because after queen b2 and the rook have to return and his move just wasted, here comes rook d6, do you know the chess strategy? No, let me explain to you, this f7 pawn is pinned by the bishop, that means that the pawn is freezed he can't move, the knight have very good controlling squares to pressure black, and the king have no army to protect him, do you understand what does that mean? What about rook g6, it will check to the king and the queen on g5 with the supporting of the knight, but there is the knight nah, it is protecting that square, so how can you deflect the knight? Yes you are right, if you think knight d5 to deflect him then you right, let me show you the variation, if you play 200 lo move rook a8 then knight t5, pawn should not take it because of this, black's pawn structure will be a sweet dish for white, so if bishop d8 to protect it, then knight takes check bishop takes e7 rook g6 check, and the game will be over because you will lose the queen, and chess friends. If you want to make tactics and strategies like this and shock your opponent then you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, where I, the best chess player in this universe teaches chess daily on my YouTube channel, so back to the position, 
Ding plays King g7 because he is a stockfish subscriber to, c4 bishop c7 targeting to the rook, Sir Magnus played f4, targeting to the queen, and we have Unpassan rook to d3 pawn takes g2, Magnus sacrificed his one pawn but it's totally fine for him. The knight is coming to the f5 square with another knight, c5 is coming to target the f7 pawn with rook and bishop, we have f6, c5, rook, d8, rook takes, takes queen e2, rook here, queen d3 to target the bishop, bishop escapes, knight check takes, takes, you shouldn't take the knight with your bishop, let me show you why, if you do it the rook takes queen backs then queen check will come here, check king h7, queen takes, check, so queen g7, queen b8, rook takes, b3, rook takes, check. If queen blocks happen then you will lose your queen so king here and after some moves later, you will lose your queen on g7, game will be over so back to the position, here we have king f8 queen c2, blunder move best was to play queen d1, to protect the diagonal from the queen, because after queen g4 black is threatening to take the knight then h4 to open the position so rook f3 bishop takes rook takes f5. h4 warn move because now you has to play king here to protect the pawn so after rook takes check king g7 rook check here queen f2 the king is exposed so these moves are coming to checkmate you in two moves, so ding exchanges the queen by taking the pawn, bishop here and after some moves later, white have passed pawn but you know what this position is totally equal, but ding liren blunders a move, he played bishop e2, because after rook check king to e3, rook takes check, you lose your rook, now magnus is completely winning here, he have a pawn rook and the bishop and he is going to checkmate ding liren, check here check here and mate. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.